Coming up next on The Beat Goes On, we welcome back Janice Willis from Elderly Assist. Janice has built a great team of sensitive and hardworking staff members when dealing with our senior citizens and their retirement plans. Tonight, Janice introduces two of her staff members, Anne and Karen. Janice Willis, wonderful to have you on The Beat Goes On. Hi Jared, lovely to be back. You're looking in fine form Janice, you've been uh, out there, you've been elder, elderly assisting and moving assisting. I have, Never I have. Never Janice. It's great. No, it's a growing market, Jared, and, and we're busy as. So I'm going to get you to good. explain all about it, but uh, the last time you're in, you've got this wonderful new company called Clutterbusters, which is a little bit different, but today we're talking about moving assist and elderly assist, and you've done a wonderful thing. You brought some of your staff in. I have. I promised that I would at yeah. the last show, and I've brought a couple of my lovely ladies. And we're and going to talk to them soon. We are, yeah. yes. Anne and Karen, and mm. they're going to to come and chat about what it's like working with our clients and what it's like working with elderly assist and contracting. And, and, and Janice, it. it's been agreed that you're not allowed to be in the room <laughs> while, they talk, while, they talk, while they talk about their boss. Well, so, I thought it just might be a little bit easier for yeah. them to talk freely. I, I, I yeah. trust them implicitly and, <laughs> um, and I know that, that it just might be easier to talk. So I'll come and it'll be a surprise you when I get the, to see the show. You showed us the gun you were going to use. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. Look, Janice, now before we talk to Anne and Karen, what about uh, a quick explanation of elderly assist and moving sure. assist, just in case if somebody hasn't seen the programme? Sure. Okay, so elderly assist mm. assists the elderly to downsize and declutter and to move into a smaller home or retirement village. And a lot of that going on at the A moment. lot of it. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, lots of new villages mm. in the Greater Auckland area, and that's where we tend to work, in the Greater Auckland area. So and that's elderly assist. Yes, that, that's, to, yeah. that's, that's elderly assist. So we'll help um, families and elderly people who have been in their homes sometimes quite a mm. long time to, to process their belongings, to sell the goods that they don't want to take with them. And when we do that, we won't take a commission on the sale of the goods. And a very sensitive time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 28 very, years yeah. or 50 years in the house and then there's having to move them out into a, you know, it's a sensitive time. That's right, well, yeah. that's right. Um, moving Assist yeah, does much the, the same kind of um, company, yep. much the same kind of work. We started Moving Assist because a lot of the friends and the family of our elderly assist clients yeah. would say, gosh, this is a great service, would you do it for people other than exactly. the elderly? Yeah. We often work with people in Moving Assist who are time poor, who may still be working or have a young family. Mm. And we do other services, like we, may, we might do a lot of garden maintenance, getting their homes ready for mm. sale, small maintenance work. Uh, basically anything that they want us to do. So it's the same crew, and you'll see my ladies mm. in, in the different uniforms today, but they just put on different hats wherever they go. So um, we're going to talk about what they actually do today when you have a chat with them. In the training sessions, what's the thing that you try to get across to your staff? What's the most important thing? Okay, that, yeah. um, my contractors actually come from a vast range of mm. backgrounds. They're, there's dental nurses and ex-airline crew, um, all sorts of people. They're recruited on their temperament primarily. Temperament's yeah, important. that, yeah, that yeah. they have kindness and empathy. Yeah. The things that I can't train them. Yeah. You know, I can easily, you know, over time teach them how to downsize and declutter, pack, move, and all of those things. But they need to be able to have some kind mm. of understanding. I tend to employ people that are, you know, late 40s, 50 mm. plus. Many of them have mothers or grandparents mm. that have gone through what our elderly people are going through. And they just have the patience and kindness mm. to work with them. And, you know, we, we do. We have a great crew. We're really mm. proud of the um, No Cowboys mm. ratings that we get or the peop what yeah, people say great. about us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just to re-emphasise re that we are our clients' hands and feet mm. and we do what they want us to do. We, we guide them because we're familiar with most of the retirement villages, but the decisions are theirs and we'll, we'll try and accommodate as much as we can about what fits in and what doesn't. I'm looking forward to talking to Karen and Anne, so I'm going to wave a magic wand. <laughs> And there is Karen and Anne. Whoa, magic! There you are. Wow. Is that how you work every day with yes, magic? Yes, we do. <laughs> so let's do some introductions. Um, Janice just told me that she had two wonderful workers. You're two team leaders, are you? For Correct, yes. Your, uh, and your elderly assist. 
and Karen, you're moving assist. Yes, I am today. Yeah, today. <laughs> we both work across yeah. all the companies, so <laughs> we just change our t-shirts accordingly. Yep. Now, what's the job like? Is it a fascinating job? I think it's probably one of the most interesting jobs I've ever done. We yeah. meet amazing people. Um, we come across the most fantastic antiques and possessions, yeah. and the elderly just have so many great stories. It's very, very rewarding. Karen, is it rewarding for you too? Is it exactly the same? It is. It yeah. is very rewarding. I love it. And yeah, it's um, one of the better jobs that I've had because I just like going to work mm. every day and that's got to be a plus. <laughs> now we talked to Janice about it being a very sensitive time for a lot of the elderly people and, and you're with the elderly. What, uh, what's, their biggest, what's their biggest concern and worry? Um, often they have concerns about whether their possessions are going to fit. They often want to take a lot with them yeah. and um, we don't take over, we let them make those decisions themselves. However, we do often go and have a look at the retirement rooms they're moving into and make sure that their things are going to fit and um, we just That's do it great very, service, very gently. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, you have to go out of your way, you've got to go to the, the, the where they're going to go, yes. look at the room. Wow, good yep. on you. Often mm. we know the different retirement villages, yeah. but um, they all have different configurations and number of bedrooms and things like that. So we do mm. like to go along with them and, and we'll sit down with the plan and we'll actually write on the plan exactly mm. where each piece of furniture is going ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And once the um, transport company has moved all their possessions into their retirement village, on that day we will get them back before the movers go and make sure each piece of furniture is exactly where they want it. Karen, if any, if we asked a hundred people, what's the most stressful thing in the world? It's moving. It honestly is. Mm, mm. I mean, I've done it, and oh, it is. it's a nightmare, isn't it? Mm. So really, you're you're there to make it uh, less of a nightmare. The yes, we are, and we can yeah. feel their anxiety yeah. when we when we first meet them, and mm. it, you know, it's sort of our job to um, just calm them down a little bit and not be too pushy and just um, not invade, be too invasive. Mm. We say, okay, well, we're just going to start on the back room with the things that you don't need in the next week or so, and we won't touch your kitchen or your mm. bedroom. Um, so everything will be basically how you like it right mm. until the end. Yeah. So it's not too much for them. Now, wasn't Janice marvellous? I mean, she's identified you know that uh, dealing with the elderly can be difficult and they and they really do need a special treatment so uh, janice has done a great uh, service to our community hasn't she by mm -hmm. starting elderly assist yep. i mean what a great idea i mean it's uh, i mean good on her oh, uh, i mean what do you think what janice is doing i think it's absolutely amazing she juggles so many balls she knows mm. exactly what's going on with every job yeah. she touches base with every single client often on a daily basis yeah. and um the service is just amazing. A lot of these people don't have family mm -hmm. to help them, and if they do, perhaps some of their families are professionals and they haven't got the time to help. So we do take care of absolutely every aspect of that move, and we do the unpack the other end, mm -hmm. make their beds, so they basically walk in at the end of the day and everything is done for mm -hmm. them. How subtly different for moving assist, isn't it? Because you're not just dealing with elderly people. Moving assist was formed so that it, that it, elderly assist went so well mm. that but yes, it's, it's for great time for, for people. time, yeah, time for people, people yeah. that have got sort of young families at school and they're juggling all their balls as mm. well. So we just can come along and do the same service basically. You know, all the Lego, we'll pack it all up and put it exactly mm. how it was, arranged the same way. So. You know, all these things take such a lot of time when you're a young family. So now, now what about um, uh, you know when people actually do a shift? They re uh, you know the next day. Oh, you know they've been bending over and filling up. How fit do you get? <laughs> oh, you, you do get fit. Often we work in houses that have got stairs, yeah. um, and we're quite surprised at the end of the day how many stairs we've done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we. I think because we're downsizing as well, it isn't just packing constantly. Mm. You are dealing with the client and talking to them about what's mm. going to be packed and what's perhaps going to go to a charity or an auction house. So I, I will admit that, you know, in the times I've shifted, um, you know, you've heard those things about hiring two burly men. I'm always amazed how they pick up a big piece of furniture and walk out. Oh, They're amazing. Yeah, we have yeah. very burly men. So you, you're dealing with guys yeah. all the time doing the, the yes, the, the do the heavy work. lifting. Yeah, yep, yeah. Right, yes. which is great. And they're all they're always cheerful and happy, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes they have to do, you know, a bit of doubling up because mm. if a client. Um, really wants to take um, too much furniture and just just for their own peace of mind we yeah. say okay well we'll take that 
and um, we'll take it and we'll just show them, we'll see if you can fit it, we can fit it in, and if not, then they'll just take it away and we'll store it for you or get well, it sold for you. Mm. So, um, Job satisfaction, out of 10. I would say 10. 10? 10, 10 wow. or 11. Isn't that totally. <laughs> the, the, the day that you've moved the mm. client and unpacked and they walk in, it's just yeah. priceless. You, mm. Carrie, just you feel the same? Yes, I do. Oh, I, I, I especially like the end bits where you find their little treasures that they've had in the back of a cupboard somewhere and they've mm. forgotten about because they didn't have the room. But by mm. the time we've decluttered, we can bring all those treasures out mm. again and put them on display and they walk in and... Oh, the face is like, yeah. oh, that's my special mother's ornament. Or... Is that where it went? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't seen yeah. it for years. Yeah, yeah. I can. Or they might, oh, look at this old painting. Gosh, it looks like a goldie. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> would that'd be, be great. Nice. Well, yeah. look, we're running out of time, Anne and Karen, but uh, let's have a look at the telephone numbers for, um, I'm reading off the thing without my glasses, but um, look. For a kickoff, www.elderlyassist.co.nz. I mean, everybody uses the computer now. It's hard to remember numbers. And, of course, is it uh, moving assist as well? I mean, it's all there, isn't it? Yes, all it there. is. Totally. And, yep. uh, I mean, let's do one telephone number anyway. Uh, 0800. We'll put that up on the screen. 839-874. Yep. You probably uh, don't know it because you don't have to ring work. Right? <laughs> no, that's right. You take the calls. <laughs> yeah. So let's salute Janice. She's doing a wonderful job of... What about uh, tomorrow? I mean, it's Monday night, so it's up early in the morning and away again. So yes, there's always yeah. work. Always work. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks very much. And Karen, Thank you, great to talk to you.